Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Tom Mustin with the latest from Denver 7. Tonight, an entire apartment complex is shut down after a massive fire happened today on Nome Street near East Colfax in Aurora. The building has about 30 units, all of which have now been evacuated. The Red Cross is helping tenants find temporary housing. Still no word tonight on what started this fire. And tonight, troopers need your help finding the driver who ran over two children in a Centennial neighborhood. The kids have been walking home from the park with a 12-year-old friend when the driver hit two of them. Both are expected to make a full recovery. Troopers say the driver is an African-American man, about 25 to 30 years old. He's driving a dark blue sedan or small SUV with a green bumper. If you see anything, you're being asked to call CSP. And it's the end of the season, ski season that is. Today, Keystone, Telluride, and Ski Cooper both all had their last day of the season. Purgatory, Monarch, and Wolf Creek are also starting to scale down their hours. Purgatory will be open Saturday and Sunday if there's enough snow there. Monarch and Wolf Creek will be open Friday through Sunday. Wolf Creek officially closes on the 21st. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a check on your forecast. Mostly sunny and nice tomorrow, high of 73. Even nicer on Tuesday with a high of 77. And then Mother Nature puts the hammer down. 48 degrees and chance of rain or snow on Wednesday. It's a quick hitter, though. We warm things up nicely. And on Sunday, we're back to sunny with a high of 67. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand Update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Tom Mustin. Have a great day.